customer brought this hub into me. Wheel bearings went out. Needs it machined so the seal will fit again. Yep, a little bit of play in there. This is on the front axle of a tractor. Uh, so I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to put this in the lathe. and I need to spin it down true first. I'll probably just build a bushing to fit in there because, you know, it's just got to hold the seal. Um, so, yeah. And of course, it is 6 o'clock in the evening on a Saturday. I am dog tired. I just want to go home. But he needs this done immediately. So, I got a bolt stuck in here and a little shackle. Use the overhead chain hoist. Hold that in place while I try to get set in the lathe and see if I can do anything with this. I just have to say, I absolutely love this chuck with the T-slots in it because there is no other way I could do this. Um, I can't clamp on the outer rim of this. I probably could if I put some spacers in there. And I can't clamp on the inside of the hub because there's a taper in there. Of course, I can't flip my chucks around because they'd be sticking out too far. Um, so with a combination of clamping the jaws, in there and putting these bolts in the T-slots I'm I pretty much got it uh, I'm off a little bit but this is just a casting that I'm reading on out here so I'm trying to decide what's acceptable but I don't know there's, it feels like it's really a low spot right there and like if I go jaw to jaw that's basically 39 40 uh, moved on me because that was, you know, no, I'm just reading it from too far back. 42 and uh, 41. So, I mean, I'm really darn close. I'm going to try to read inside this bearing race in here next, although this bearing race is pitted. So, I'm not sure it's going to do me much good. That inner race is just completely beat to heck. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure that's a roller from the roller taper bearing right there jammed in it. I'm going to yank that out of there. I'm debating about how I want to do that. I'm tempted to just take the MIG welder and run a pass about halfway around. And just hopefully it'll drop out. Yeah, there's definitely a burr holding that thing in. Oh my word. Should have just followed out. Followed it out? Whatever. I'm tired. I gotta warn you right now, I'm really tired, and when I get tired, I can't talk. So I probably say the wrong words all the time. There we go. I can even read the number on it still. That needle barely ticks, and I'm not even sure about what it's a metal shaving or a burr or something in there. I'm good with that. Aluminum foil is getting so heavy it's collapsing. That is just a really, really nice finish. Obviously where I backed out, you know, left a nice big ring because I got tool pressure. But otherwise, boy, I can't complain about that at all. And actually after that pass, there's not a lot that hasn't turned out round, you know what I'm saying? There's just, I mean, it starts right there, a little groove. And that's... I'd say uh, more than three quarters of the way around. I don't know, barely, barely over three quarters of the way around that isn't touching and it's not very deep. So, sweet, one more pass, ought to get it. Almost getting some curly Q chips there where it's actually digging in and cutting. The high spots where it's just skimming is just turning into powder, but uh, yeah, definitely a little curly cues. I'm okay with that. see anything anywhere. I've gone over a turn now. So I'll measure that 
and I will adjust up or down a little bit. Well, can't adjust up or down. Ah, oh, God. You know what I mean. I might take another pass after I measure it because I have no idea what size this actually is, and I'd like it to be a number that's close for something I can build a bushing for. You know what I mean? I hope. Okay, I took a spring cut. 3.990 on the nose. Okay, next step. Oh, I got chamfer this. I'm going to put a little chamfer on there, and then I'm going to start building the bushing to go in there. But we'll do the bushing on the Atlas lathe. That way we don't have to take this thing out of there just in case. I could not find any 4-inch outside diameter pipe or 4-inch just regular old, you know, cold rolled stock. I don't know why. I have tons of 3.5 and, and 4.5, and but no 4. So I found this old chunk of oil well drill rig. Um... What do you call it? Drill stem. Oh! Dang it. Well, I'll reset and... Uh, yeah. Man, that stuff machine's nice. That's unbelievable. Yeah, it's going. I am two thousandths over in here what the seal is at the start of the seal. I think that's what it's supposed to be. I don't know. I couldn't find any data on the seal online. Uh, but yeah, it's it's going to be like a four thousandths compression though on this back side. Um, might be a little tight, but I think it'll go. Must be a little smaller in diameter now because now it's not turning the chips purple. I got this little ring here because the way I figured out in my head to get this turned to length was do all the machining operations this way. Now I'm going to take it out, flip it over, and then I'll just face off this side to length. Stamped out on the ring. Does that show up? Eh, whatever. Um, that way, if somebody ends up pulling this spacer out, they'll know that it goes this side out, hopefully, because I actually got a little bit of a chamfer in here and some other things on it. It's not equal. So, uh oh. Well, that slides in easy. Uh oh. All right. That'll work. Must be a little bit of a taper to it. Oh yeah. That'll be just fine. And press this in. This is all I can do to this project. Um, you know, it's one of those things where I just gotta kick us back out the door and I'm never gonna know unless he calls me if I did it wrong or right. Oh, that went in too easy. Coming back out though. That wasn't a very hard press. Uh, I got some berries down in there. Looks like I better get out before I give it to them. But anyway, I'm very happy with that. I pressed in a little bit easier than I was expecting. But uh, I mean, it feels really tight by hand. There's, there's no way I'm getting that back out. So it'll run. Take a center punch, probably what I'll do. And uh, hit it right here on this line in a couple places, maybe three places. I'll kind of smash the metals together and that'll guarantee it won't come out. Uh, I don't even know what to say other than I'm going to bed. Thanks for watching y'all.